Hi folks, and welcome to Mr. Herbert's Science Class. And today, well, this is my junkyard dog. You saw my earlier video where I made this out of spare parts I just had laying around the garage. The problem is it's only a three-channel radio, so you've got elevator and you've got rudder to turn it and throttle, of course. Now, I've turned it into a night flyer. I've got blinking tail strobes on it, the green light on the, in the wing, and a uh, strobe on the bottom here. Now, the problem is, they don't turn very good with just rudder on. So I'm going to try something I never tried before. I'm going to put one aileron on this side, and I'm going to use this tiny servo to run it. This is how I'm going to do it. I thought I'd show you. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut right here, right here, right here. And that will be my loop. Okay, there we go. Now, in order to have a little extra space so this doesn't bind, we have to There. Now this either on fit in there nice and uh, that should work good. I'm going to put some clear tape on the edges, smooth it up, and make it so it will work. Okay, I put clear plastic tape around all the edges here to make a good uh, seal. And I've got my aileron prepared. And what you want to do is make sure you put a taper in it. Uh, Sand it down so you've got a, a sharp edge on the top and uh, curved on the bottom. So when this goes in, it has room to go down. Okay, the top layer of tape is on. Make sure when you put that one on that the aileron is drooping down. Uh, so this will be the way it works. Now we want to flip it over like this and go ahead and put the tape on. Sure that you've got the tape making contact here on both sides. Like it up on the other bottom. There we go. Now we have an aileron. Look at that. Looks like it's nice and smooth now. Let's hook up the servo and the uh, aileron forward. I've elected to put the servo on the bottom of the wing and uh, I've outlined the servo here and uh, I'm going to cut that out now with the razor blade. Get my handy dandy electric tube gun out. We're going to do that for a little bit. in there just like that. Perfect. Okay, since the servo wire is not long enough, I have to uh, solder this up right here and uh, extend the uh, cable. So just solder on an extra leg. Okay, I've got my servo extension hooked up and uh, connected here. Let's go ahead and hook it. Okay, I've made myself a little platform in here for the servo, and uh, I'm putting some electric glue, hot melt glue around everything now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and mount this. So, there you go. Okay, go ahead and see this works the right direction now. Left, 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 that means that that push rod is going to push that servo up, which means the wing is going to go down, so that's the right way. And my rudder is back on the rudder stick again. 
All right. Okay, I've mounted my control horn. I screwed it on and also used electric glue to uh, tighten it up. And now I'm going to make a push rod that runs from here to this servo line. It's not going to be very long. And we'll be done. Okay, I think we've got it all set. Run, give it a try. The uh, aileron stick to the left raises the aileron, and there it is working on the one side. So. Back here we have the elevator, we have the rudder, and then we have the motor. Let's go.